So you're thinking about moving to Idaho and now you've heard about Idaho Falls. Today, I'm gonna give you an overview. We're gonna do a driving tour and show you everything from downtown to some beautiful neighborhoods. We'll talk about work opportunities, schools, parks, and just what the overall feel is like. If you like this video, be sure to check out the pros and cons video. Hope you get a good understanding if Idaho Falls should be at the top of your list or if you should be taking it off your list. Welcome to another episode on the Living in Idaho channel. And if you want to know all there is to living in Idaho, what you can do here, what the cities are like, what the housing market is like, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time we post new videos. Each week we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to relocate to Idaho. So if you're looking to buy or sell in Idaho, feel free to reach out anytime, days, nights, or weekends, and we would love to be your guide on that journey. So beautiful downtown Idaho Falls, most buildings were constructed between 1890 and 1920. Recently, the downtown development has undergone a huge renovation and incentive programs to incentivize people to come move their businesses and lifestyles downtown by offering great city perks. They are offering credits back if you occupy buildings or live in downtown law. The Rogers building here to our left, this was actually a bar at one point back in the day and now it's office buildings on the second floor and on the third is gorgeous new lofts. They've renovated the first floor of the entire two buildings connected to it to be a great shopping complex. And what do people come downtown for? Downtown they host several get-togethers. There's a beer brew that's once a month that they do um, down in the square. They close off all the streets and there's live bands and then they have an Alive at Five series one time a week where same story, it's brews and social get-togethers. This is a neat hotel up on the right. This is called the Bonneville Hotel. They recently completely gutted this and it will be strictly lofts and housing. It's still work in progress, but it's a beautiful site. It was built in 1890. This was one of the first hotels built in Idaho Falls. Before Idaho Falls was Idaho Falls, it was called Eagle Rock. Okay. And it looks like they're getting it set up for commercial space down below. Yep. The first floor will be commercial and it's located right next to our new fire station. Ahead of us is the courthouse and where lots of our local municipalities hang out. We've got the police station in there. Courthouse itself is in there um, where you will go and get your tax assessment, drop off your homeowner exemption after you do purchase this right here. The assessor's located in there. The connection to downtown is basically it's wrapped around the river, which gives accessibility to pretty much all types of businesses, restaurants, living. And as the downtown developments try to generate more housing opportunities, you've seen a diverse crowds start to gather down here. I was walking on the path along the river. It's really nice. Lots of families, yep. electric scooters being used. Yep. The Green Belt offers scooters. The whole downtown does actually. You can utilize those. It's got a belt route that goes actually five miles now. You can connect all the way to the town of Shelley and then going north, you can connect to the US 20. It's called Freeman Park. It's it doesn't beautiful. follow the river. It does. The whole thing follows the river. It's called the Green Belt Pathway. And so if you're watching on the video in front of us, if you could see over that ledge, that's the river right there. And this is kind of the park to our right. Yep. The nostalgic water tower. This has been a topic of discussion. They were going to deconstruct the tower and relocate it. And due to popular local demand, they're going to keep it. So as Craig said, to our right is the beautiful river. To our left is more of our Idaho Falls City buildings. A lot of office buildings. And up on our left is a restaurant series that just got completed. It has a law firm occupies the second floor and the Bank of Idaho shares the building. And then there's two restaurants as well as a home builder on the first floor. And we'll just give you a wraparound tour of downtown. Once a month, they're offering shop the sidewalks where local vendors will all get together and offer heavily discounted items and incentives for you to come and shop. Right now it's Friday at 1.20, so you're kind of seeing what the traffic is like on a Friday. Yeah. We're on Broadway right now, and off of I-15 in Broadway, this is the main corridor to connect you to the route to Jackson Hole, as well as to Iron Park. So it's kind of a interchange here, and we have construction going on the highway that's off-route and a lot of people 
and notice a lot of construction when I was traveling through a lot of like weaving and dodging yes. and feels very much like Boise. And they're trying to get the infrastructure dialed in as they're constructing. As we hit back into downtown, I wanted to hone in on like City Bagels is an amazing place. They're always super involved in the local downtown activities. There's Jimmy's All Season Angler to our right just changed ownership and it will be Fly Fish Food Jimmy's. We're now on A and Shoot. This is where Great Harvest and additional restaurants are. This is also the corner that they close down to have the beer and brews in the evenings on Wednesday. They'll close this intersection right here and there'll be a live band. And then all of these restaurants will participate. Super fun, kind of brings everybody out. Then Willard Art Center. This is amazing. This is where our symphony meets. This is where we have live concerts. You'd be surprised. Robert Earl King has played here. The Turnpike Troubadours have played here. There's been huge bands in this tiny venue. It's also where uh, ballets are held. School performances of big sizes are held. And then it connects us up at the head back down to the main falls. What do you think about this downtown? If somebody's looking for a small town feel but has some amenities, I feel like Idaho Falls really Absolutely. hits that. If everything is community involved here. It's really awesome. A small town vibe with the big city amenities. Ammon is on the quit hills of Idaho Falls to the east. And it offers more of our large box shopping, a little more modern shopping. Downtown being a little older, it comes with older quirks. It's got smaller square footage, a little older style. So now we're leaving downtown and downtown. we're going to jump over yep. the river. Cross over and you guys can see the downtown waterfalls. So now we're back on Broadway, which was that main corridor. Yep. And last time we went left, now we're going right. Idaho Falls also has a temple a Latter-day Saint temple that many people come and visit just for the scenery alone. It's beautiful. It's got the river backdrop, beautiful wedding backdrop for a lot of LDS. As I said before, the town Idaho Falls itself was called Eagle Rock. And here is Eagle Rock Ferry. It talks about how the ferry used to cross the river for folks and go up and down nine miles for the locals. To our right, the falls. These are man-made falls. They were built to control flows. Also, it's just provided a beautiful scenic outlook for Idaho Falls. It is so interesting looking. It's just like, it's not what you would expect. It's not. A lot prettier from this side than the other side. Absolutely. The other side is just kind of like ominous where the river disappears. And this flow, this section of the Snake River is a huge flow right now. We've had a massive snow year. Yeah. So the runoff has been really neat to watch how it's changed the waterfalls. This loop is like a Snake River loop. You can walk this portion and it will take you all the way around the river on a little frontage road. In the winter time, they line this little roadway here with um, kind of like a gingerbread house style, a light show, if you will. So it's kind of nice having this downtown and the river and the walkways because I see a lot of people actively just out there enjoying it. Absolutely. And on lunch, it's a lot of just our Idaho up. National Lab buildings, I'll show you up here, are located off the river. So lunchtime walkers, rollerbladers, a good social place to come and meet, have a cup of coffee, feed the duck. We're kind of heading away now. We're on the other side from downtown, and now we're heading away. What are we heading towards? We are basically in the hotel strip right here off right. of the river. So if somebody wanted to come, say, do a scouting trip, say they're thinking about moving here, is there a hotel you'd recommend for them to stay in that was centralized? Either the Hilton okay. um, Garden Inn is a great one, or across the way here, still located on the river, the Marriott Spring Hill is fantastic with great views. You'll get the whole falls view from those rooms. These, river, these rooms here to our left, they also offer restaurants in each one of these hotels. The one to our left is called the Sandpiper, which is pretty well known for our locals in the evening. Just as a great vibe, you can get a cocktail on the deck while you watch all the passerbyers on the river. More scooters, you can top them Not off the anywhere. Scooters. Man, that kid is cruising. <laughs> all right, we're clocking that kid. He's going like 17 miles per hour on that scooter. So this is the north side of the river section. In the recent last 10 years, they've constructed Snake River Landing, which is the south side of the river. 
And you'll see the difference there. It's just newer, fresher, more modern vibe. A fun fact, we also have the largest Sam's Club. We got a brand new Costco. Okay. Um, the Sam's Club I was just referring to, they said that it pulls everyone from Montana because they don't have one in the closest 300 mile radius. All the Jackson Holians, it's really just our our only one. Yeah. So they And you also have, have a great there. airport here. We have on a top great of that. airport and it's it offers even more flights now in and out, not just Salt Lake and Boise, where we used to just have hopper flights and then you'd have to catch a, a flight to another town. We can fly direct to Denver, to Seattle, to um, I think you can get to Alaska now through Alaska Airline. It's it's grown a ton. They're actually building right now as we speak, adding on. Over here, we have Walmart off to our right. We have two super Walmarts in town. This one's called the West Side Walmart because it's on the west side of Idaho Falls. And then we have the Ammon Walmart that's located on the east bench of Idaho Falls. We've got a Target. We've got Sam's Club, Costco. We have a mall here called Grand Teton Mall. It's got a Dick's Sporting Goods. We have Al's, all of your major shopping locations. The one that we're really rooting for is we wish Trader Joe's would give us a lift. Oh, I love Trader Joe's in, in Boise. We have two, uh, two. So Trader Joe's, if you're listening to this, maybe we'll tag them. They want, they want a Trader Joe's here in Idaho Falls. Yes, it would really thrive. Look at um, that. This gorgeous roundabout. Gosh. We have a local artist who donated all of this amazing bronze work here. The eagle and the baby eagle soaring. It's beautiful. More office buildings and doctor's office find themselves down here. We're still downtown Idaho Falls, but as I mentioned, this is getting towards the newer section here. The intersection we're coming up is called Pan Carry. This is another main corridor through town, and it'll put us on the other side of the river here. It will give you a look of, of Snake River Landing area. As we start to enter Snake River Landing here, several restaurants have found themselves home here and thriving. We've got Buffalo Wild Rings. We've got McKenzie River Grill that's pizza and pub. There's a great little beer spot here where they only serve beer. And then they have specials. I believe it's on Wednesday night. During the summer, it may change. But there's outside dining, super fun coffee shops. Again, to the left, there's another pavilion where you can come and hang out, watch the sunset on the river. Tap and Fill is the name of the brewery. Several office buildings and love at first bite. This is a nostalgic chocolate stop that you have to come and visit if you come to Idaho Falls. We have a ramen house that's about to make its grand opening to our left, which is amazing. I'm a sucker for a good bowl of tonkatsu ramen. Love it. Can't wait. Bill's Bike Shop. This is a headquarter for your mountain bike needs, for your road bike needs, for your little humans, Strider, whatever you need, they've got it. Also down on the Snake River side, it's fun. They have events like any run, local 5Ks, fun runs. They all start down here. One of our great additions of this Snake River landing, this last season, Idaho Falls, we got a semi-professional hockey team called the Idaho Falls Spud Kings. So we've all been living living down here at the arena. The tickets sold out immediately the second they released them for the season. So it's been super fun to give our town a little sport to go get hype about and to watch hockey really blossom here in town. So again, we're just going through some office buildings. Here's the Moose Ridge Coffee Shop, which is a must-see if you're going to come have a cup and joe on the river. Stockman's Restaurant, one of the best steakhouses in town to our left. It looks like we have some empty lots off to our right. Are they developing a lot of this area? Yep. They're adding, there's apartments down here. There's a location to the right called Guns and Gear, which is a huge indoor shooting arena, which is pretty popular here in the local community. So as we hit this section of Snake River Landing, this is still connected to our pathways. So you can come off the riverway and then connect onto these sidewalks that'll take you uh, through the new development areas that are popping up. Create little houses here to the left that are directly on the river. Some affordable options to your right. These apartments are relatively new and then they back you directly to the Mountain America Event Center, putting you in walking distance to concerts and hockey games. They're bringing in huge names this summer. We've got Billy Carrington coming. ZZ Top just came through. Really pretty. The Wide streets, tree-lined, well-maintained. 
it is a lot of care is given down here. They're really trying to help downtown thrive. We have a ton of new construction that's been coming off the I-15 Jackson Hole corridor, it's called, and there will be like a megaplex movie theater. We have several hotels that have popped up over to the right. There's major car dealerships that have relocated and moved to this area instead of the old downtown area. And again, this is part of the St. River walkway. So this is part of that connection that you can do the full loop. You can ride up here on the sidewalks or directly next to the river. They have a pathway that follows the actual water itself. If you're a skateboarder, we have a new skate park coming in to our left here. And on the opposite side of Sunnyside, you'll see that's where the BMX arena is going to go, which is super exciting for our local riders. They're excited to have a place that they can ride. So one of the beautiful things about Idaho Falls is the small town camaraderie. It's, it does take a village to raise our children and we know that. And what's beautiful is how people just come together here. Not just in the schools, but just the community itself. You'll be walking downtown and see families you know and just say hello. It's a very welcoming community who's excited to have families and diversity helping the city thrive and grow. It's been exciting to watch. I've been here 12 years and it's changed so much. It's been exciting. Many questions as our foothills are lined with windmills and we often get asked, is it windy all the time here? The answer, unfortunately, is yes. They do put windmills where it's windy all the time. Uh, the foothills catch much more wind than, say, our town does, which is why they're located up there. Some of our little suburbs of Idaho Falls include Shelley, Ammon, Iona, Ingham, there's little tiny towns, Rigby, Ryrie, that really are 20 minute drive to the town of Idaho Falls itself, which is great. You can have country style living and still have all the big city amenities within your reach or have a little country flavor and be able to commute to work without any large commute time. Sunnyside right now is one of our main corridors for travel and it's Sunnyside and 17th Street and they're currently evaluating a belt route to to wrap all the way from Shelley that'll take you directly to Jackson Hole without having to go through the town. Right now, you actually have to commute through the town of Idaho Falls itself. There's so many beautiful neighborhoods to choose from here. It really comes down to dialing in the individual's needs and what they're looking for in a community. As far as family involvement goes, one of my favorites is coming up here called Stonebrook. And why is it one of my favorites? Not only is it the homes and the people that live in the community, it's so well kept. It's always got fun activities going on within the community itself that bring people that don't even live in that neighborhood to them. They host one of our largest garage sales that will literally shut the entire neighborhood down and everyone in this entire neighborhood participates, which is fun. Beautiful trees in the fall. It's one of the roads that you'll go drive to look at the foliage and yeah. leaves change. It's gorgeous. Provides semi new homes. A lot of these homes have been redone recently. And as we go through the neighborhood, you'll see that new construction is starting to begin at the back end of the neighborhood. A big variety of homes, family homes. There's homes that have mother in law suites in the back here. I have a lot of people that have reached out to me where they're wanting to buy a home that also accommodates aging parents. Absolutely. I think we're going to see that trending more and more. Great options for schools here. This puts you in the Sunnyside Elementary District here in D91. D91 is also building a huge new facility just outside this neighborhood that'll be their athletic complex that should be a great asset to our community, a much needed asset that we're all looking forward to. As we start to taper through and you see the trees getting smaller, you'll see we're going into newer construction, which also up here is giving first time buyers great opportunities in a beautiful neighborhood. The neat thing about Idaho Falls is regardless of the neighborhood you choose, you're within minutes of shopping and all of the life amenities that you need in each direction, as well as recreation. As we cruise through, you'll start to see the newer home development here and it interconnects right into the schools and some of the LDS state houses. To our right is Taylor View Middle School, one of the, the top picks for a lot of our local community. We have two school districts in town. Schools are great. We have D91, District 91, which is the basic Idaho Falls um, in the city schools. And then we have D93, 
which is the west side of Idaho, I'm sorry, the east side of Idaho Falls, and then the Ammon proximity. So because of our population growth here, we've also had two new schools constructed, Black Canyon Middle and Thunder Ridge High School that were completed about three years ago, and they're amazing. Looks like we have a soccer camp here. This is called the International UK Training. This is awesome. We have guys that come from England. We watch this online. It's really neat. Soccer is a huge thing in Idaho Falls. It's really blossomed and the community's grown together. We actually have a new indoor arena being constructed by a private soccer club. They're doing an indoor arena as well as an outdoor turf arena that will give us more than one opportunity for indoor soccer right now. Um, our only indoor arena is the YMCA right now. Options are nice. There's everything from rec soccer here to heavily competitive teams. It's a gorgeous area. You almost feel like you're in the country coming out of this neighborhood, even though you're still right in the middle of Idaho Falls city limits. So this area, the Stonebrook Canterbury area is a super loved area by the local community. You saw why those trees are hard to beat. You're within minutes of Home Depot, which you'll see right up the street here, to the mall, to the hospital. We have a major hospital called Eastern Idaho Medical Center. Locally, we call it ERMAC. Um, we have Life Flight that goes in and out of there to Salt, to everywhere actually, but they're headquartered for Salt Lake and Jackson Hole. So every call that's called out of Jackson, they come out of Idaho Falls and then they'll take you into Salt Lake or Boise depending on your conditions. So another great elementary school that just got completely remodeled is Edgemont to our left. And this to our right is Community Park where all the baseball activities, softball, there's soccer events, a beautiful park there going on. Um, they keep it so well maintained. It's got a great loop around it. It's a one mile loop, just one lap. So that's a good way to get miles in. We have a new multi-purpose lot that's being developed right now to our right. This will have retail, housing, um, there will be apartment opportunities in there. It backs to Apple Athletic, which is one of our three major gyms here in town that offers an outdoor pool. Over to our right, that's how you sneak on into Sam's Club back there. We have Albertsons here locally. We have Brolem's, which is a local owned grocery store with some of the best selections of cheese, wine. So in Idaho Falls, we have several high schools, one of which we're coming up on is Idaho Falls High School. It's one of our oldest high schools in town. It's actually still heated by steam, if you can imagine that. We're coming up into an area that's called the Numbered Street. So from 17th Street North, they obviously go down in numbers, but it's older homes. A lot of people have really started to pour their hearts into fixing these homes up instead of letting it be scraped and rebuilt because there's one section where people were taking them out. So part of the numbered streets, they're amazing in the fall and the winter, to be honest. You'll see all these little streets are so neat because the kids just play on the sidewalks. Everyone meets. There's a park up here called Kate Curley. Great little community park right in the heart of all these adorable fixed upper homes beautiful park, walking distance to the high school, walking distance to an elementary school. This is a great family area. The diversity here is really cool. It's really started to add a lot of different lifestyles. There's people that are single workers for the Idaho National Laboratory, which is a major employer here in town. They do a lot of research programs with nuclear and different options of energy. They're an energy headquartered that is operated by the Department of Energy and the Department of Defense. We're pretty lucky to have the Idaho National Lab just west of town here. There's a huge population of our town that actually buses to work. There's bus stops throughout our town that take you to the laboratory. You'll park your vehicle, hop on a bus and ride out 25 minutes west of town. And if you continue up here, heading west, this loops us right back to downtown. So again, you can be in walking distance to really fun activities. So for people who live here, they can walk to a park, they can walk to school, depending on schooling options, and they can walk to downtown. Absolutely. So they can kind of have a very low, low car use lifestyle. Absolutely. Yeah. Big bike life down here. You know, people ask about the winters, and that is one thing about Idaho Falls, is they are a little longer and colder. We don't necessarily get 
dumped on snow, but our temperatures stay really frigid, so our snow lasts a lot longer. Do you find you're consistently shoveling every night? <laughs> you laugh, you laugh. And you're like, by shoveling, you're like snow blower? Yes, absolutely, I'm like snow blower. I, I actually enjoy snow blowing, like I enjoy <laughs> mowing, so, <laughs> right, snow throwing. So again, we're downtown. This is called Ash Street, which changes over the railroad tracks to A Street, which is putting us right back down to the fly shop where we started at. People are also surprised that this area is relatively affordable. Um, in comparison to the national average, this area's cost of living is pretty low. The average home this month came in at 427,000. So as we pop back through the numbered streets, it puts us right smack dab downtown. Like I said, walking distance to all the downtown entertainment, which is great. Okay, again to our left is the Snake River Waterfalls. That's where the fall begins there. This is an important one I forgot to mention, our farmer's market. Every Saturday morning, this whole row is shut down and to the left is where all of the vendors start setting up for the farmer's market. And it goes all the way north down to Snake River Landing. Super fun hangout on Saturday mornings. Music, great food, vegetables, flowers, something to do, a walk with the kids. And then we'll give you a pass by the Idaho Falls Temple as we go through this roundabout here as well. They keep the grounds here so beautiful all the way around the river and the temple. Again, you're getting a backside of the hotels here. And this is called Memorial Drive, so this takes you on the opposite side of the river. As we're heading north here on Memorial, this is starting to take us into the Idaho National Laboratory area where all of their office buildings and research centers are, which is super great because it puts you in walking distance to, again, the green belt wraps you around straight from your office. You can walk and grab lunch. You can come down, hang out in the shade. Up here, we also have the ISU and the University of Idaho. There's a higher education center at the Fremont Park location, so you can take all of your courses that you could take at the university here now. We also have a community college that's Eastern Idaho Tech Center that's gone 100% accredited community college. This area, as we start to come up on the downtown, the newer downtown area, you'll see the new construction that started to pop up, giving some townhome opportunities. This puts you literally on the river and in the park within two minutes of walking. So the Idaho National Laboratory, as I mentioned before, a major employer of our town, as is the U.S. Department of Energy, who work hand in hand with the laboratory. A lot of the projects and programs are operated from the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy. To our left is one of their facilities called Willow Creek. This is where several of the employees work. They do research programs here. A lot of the programs are run here and then operated out on the desert itself, which is the 25 miles west of town. The laboratory uses a lot of acronyms. This one's called the EROD building. I have no idea what that means, but I do know several of the locations here. Everything seems to have an acronym. These are all laboratories that are top notch, not like anything else you've ever seen. The ISU facilities are straight ahead back here where you can come and take your Pocatello campus courses. The National Laboratory also keeps themselves really involved with STEM programs within the school. They bring their trailers and their ideas to the schools to let the kids interact and see what the technology and science programs at the site look like. It's really neat to give them an idea of what actual engineering looks like hands-on. Another great feature of Idaho Falls is our golf courses. We have three major golf courses. One is called Pine Crest that's mature. It's a hundred year old golf course. So the trees there are absolutely amazing. From the location we're at here, we have Sage Creek to our left, about a mile and a half. Provides housing all the way around the golf course, an amazing living community. Puts you within minutes of driving if you are a national laboratory worker or Department of Energy or Defense. Also bus stops out here that will bus you right out to the site within 25, 30 minutes. The proximity with Idaho National Laboratory, we also have the nuclear reactor facility, which is a separate operation from the laboratory. The nuclear reaction facility, they are currently expanding to be able to do modular nuclear generators. So this is huge. This could be game changing for the entire world 
and the technology and development is being developed right here in our backyard. So that's pretty cool. It also helps you gauge the caliber of people that are coming here. These are genius science majors, engineers of all different entities, and the professionals, the project managers, program managers, specialists of all of these hydrogen. It's, it's, so, it's beyond my caliber, to be completely honest. These new construction townhomes here to our right, they're going from 339. They offer a carport and access to the park. To our left is a one car garage townhome. Those are 2,100 square foot starting at 379.9. Just sold one and I have to tell you, they are stunning inside. They're called Parkview townhomes. Up ahead on our left will be little Scandinavian patio style homes. These are all going to be combined and we'll put you directly on Fremont, uh, the Freeman Park area, literally within seconds of walking. It'll be great little community, great asset here. One of our favorite parks in town is Fremont Park. This is where we have our memorial. They'll put out 2000 American flags. It's a beautiful site on Memorial Day. The major 4th of July party in the city of Idaho Falls starts here and ends down on Snake River Landing where the actual firework display is at. There's always gorgeous memorials going on here. And this again is directly on the Snake River. So the entire pathway that wraps around this, you're right on the waterfront. There's a Frisbee golf course throughout this park. They also have a light show at Christmas where you can drive through this and it's like Santa's village throughout. They've got music that goes with all of the lights. Super cute, fun area to come with the family and have a picnic on a Sunday. Hey guys, I would love to know what your thoughts are on Idaho Falls. Please leave a comment down below. I would love to chat with you guys.